college track and field is so competitive that it's basically professional level. That is why the best teams take recruiting incredibly seriously. We know this because athletes like Shakari Richardson won the NCAA championship as a freshman before going on to become a world champion. But if you really want to know who's going where in recruiting, good luck piecing it all together. Because for the longest time, ranking track and field recruits has just been taking a screenshot of the national leaderboards for individual season best performances in any event. I'm not saying that it isn't helpful, but let's be honest, recruiting is way deeper than that. Angel Reese was the most outstanding player for the women's final four in basketball, but in high school, she never averaged more than 20 points per game during any season, but she was still ranked number two in the entire nation. So if you were to rank her just off of her stats, she would be nowhere near the top 10. And I have had enough of it because track and field recruiting is a very big deal. And all of the head coaches for the top teams have figured that out. They only want the best of the best. But in order to recruit those athletes, you first have to know who's real and who's not. That's why I created recruiting rankings for all the top track and field recruits across every event group. The same way ESPN does it in basketball because you can figure out who is really the best in the nation if you ask the right questions. I could tell you how I did it. There's professional judgment and a whole bunch of math involved, but I'm sure you really don't care about that, so I won't bore you. So here is a breakdown of the top 10 girls recruits in the class of 2024. They're not the only five stars on my national list, but they are clearly the best heading into this season because there's a whole bunch of great athletes out there. But with everything we have to go off of, these ladies have separated themselves from the pack. If you click the link in the description, you can view my full ranking list for the top 300 girls in the entire nation, because who knows, you just might be on it. There is a separate boys list already out, as well as one for underclassmen coming out soon. And even if you are not on the list yet, and you wanna go D1, and you think you deserve a chance to be ranked on my national list. You can send me your information on my website, scarecruiting.com. I must admit, there's no guarantee that you'll get on, but it does give me a chance to consider you. And if you disagree with me about any of the rankings, that's fine, because rankings don't mean anything after the gun goes off. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. Ranked number 10 in the nation. I had to go with a two-way tie. The first is Braylon Baker from the state of Washington, but she is committed to compete for the Duke Blue Devils. She's ranked number 96 on my scale because she's not only the fastest 300 hurdler for her entire class, but she's also ranked inside the top 20 for the 100 and the 200 meter dashes. That makes her one of the most versatile recruits in the entire nation. But tied with her is Hadley Lucas out of the state of Indiana, but she will be throwing for the Wisconsin Badgers. She actually led the nation in the shot put, but went top five in the discus. So there's no reason to believe that she won't be an NCAA championship threat in the coming years. Ranked number nine is a talented distance runner, Bethany Mahalik of Colorado. She earned a 96th overall rating by going top five in the 1500 and in the 3K. In fact, the University of Colorado signed a whole bunch of talented recruits this year, but Bethany isn't one of them. She is taking her talents to NC State to help them reload after losing Caitlin Tui. In the number eight spot is Megan Humphreys out of the state of California, but she can do just about any event she wants to when you put her on the track. She's top three in her class in the long jump and the high jump, and also top 15 in the triple jump. But that's not what makes her special. She is also top 25 in the 200 meter dash. That is what a 97 overall rating actually looks like, because she can probably sprint in more events than just the 200, and she's committed to the Texas Longhorns. So whatever event she actually ends up focusing on, is supposed to help them win another national championship. Ranked number seven is Madeline Fay 
a talented thrower out of Texas herself. She's a 97 rating, but she's not staying home either. She is committed to compete for the Kansas Jayhawks. She went top three in her class in the shot put and the discus. That makes her the best throwing recruit in the entire nation and the highest ranked recruit in the entire Big 12 Conference this season. The number six spot, however, goes to a recruit who will actually be staying home this time. Makaria Harris is the best true hurdler in the nation. She's ranked top three in every single hurdle event. The 100 hurdles, the 300 hurdles, and the 400 hurdles. I'm not making this up. It's a well-deserved 97 rating, and she's committed to the LSU Tigers to help them continue their dominance in the SEC. The number five recruit in the nation stands out because Avery Lewis of Pennsylvania is the nation's best long jumper, but she's also top 10 in the 100 and the 200. That's extremely hard to do and banked her 97 rating. And she's taking her talents all the way across the country to USC. And they're the real argument to be made that they have the best recruiting class in the entire nation which I'm sure will make sense in a moment. The number four ranked recruit is another incredibly unique talent because Allie Ince is the fastest 800 meter runner in her class out of Illinois, but she's also top five in the 1500. And she's also top 20 in the 400. That's a whole lot of range for any athlete. And she is taking her 98 rating to compete for the Oregon Ducks to help them rebuild their track and field dynasty. That said, the number three spot on this list had to go to Adesha Hodge out of Georgia. She went number two in her class in both the 100 and the 200, with performances that normally would have made her the top sprint recruit. But this is not a normal year. Spoiler alert, she's a 98 overall on my scale and choosing to stay home and compete for the Georgia Bulldogs, which is good news for them and bad news for every other team in the SEC. However, the final two names on this list are the only two ladies to go number one in the nation for their class in more than one event. That is why Ellie Shea of Massachusetts had to get the number two spot. She led her class in the 1500 and the 3K and shockingly is uncommitted at this time. In fact, there's an entire thread online with people speculating about where she's gonna end up. But that's all it is, speculation. So I'm not gonna repeat any of it. She's a 99 rating that's still on the board. And I'm sure there's a bunch of top level coaches trying to get her to commit. Yet after all that, the number one recruit in the entire nation with a 99 overall rating had to be Mia Brahe Pedersen out of Oregon. The UFC Trojans got her to commit along with a whole bunch of other fast women, including Avery Lewis. She's the nation's top sprinter in the 100 and the 200 meter dashes. But that's not telling the whole story because she was at the USA Championships in 2023 and made the finals against all the pros in both events. She could have tried to win the USA Juniors, but it was probably more fun for her and for us as fans. And the last time we saw a performance that resembled anything like this was probably Sydney McLaughlin Leroni herself. So yes, she is the top recruit in the entire nation. And I dare anyone to challenge that. Division one track and field is highly competitive. That's why getting recruited to compete in it is so hard to do. The girls on this list are the best right now. But remember, rankings don't mean anything after the gun goes off. Besides, college is a reset button on your high school career anyway. So the only thing that actually matters is what you do once you get there. But making a list like this that's incredibly high expectations whenever you get on campus. But fortunately, all of these women have all the talent necessary to back it up. Remember to check the full girls list on SCARecruiting.com using the link below because you or someone you know just might be on it. And if you think I got it wrong, that's fine. And you can let me know about it in the comment section because rankings alone won't win an NCAA championship but talented athletes definitely do. And remember, it's always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.